you guys are doing well today. Um, SEC opponent this week. Um, very excited to be back home in Faro uh, Field uh, in front of our fans. Great excitement there. Uh, very quickly touch on last week and move forward. It's behind us. Uh, very disappointing loss. Um, we had an opportunity at the end to make some things happen, and we just came up short. Offense did a great job. Uh, special teams, as you know, 57-yard field goal. Uh, defensively, we got we to hold them. We got to stop them. Uh, great thing about this is a new week, a uh, new game, new opponent in this SEC divisional game. So uh, we're definitely excited about where we are uh, for us leading into this game and uh, making things happen this week to get on the right track. And with that, I'll take your questions. Well, it's, it's hard to try to, to uh, simulate that. And, of course, we just tried to do it in practice. And those guys are getting a playoff every 10 seconds, you know. So uh, it's tough. Um, they're great up front. Uh, these guys are pretty massive. They come off the ball, do a great job creating a new line of scrimmage. And, and the quarterback, whichever one plays, um, I think both of them are great. You know what I'm saying? They do a great job. So uh, we can't worry about who's not going to play, who's going to play. We just got to make sure that we're ready to play on our side of the ball. Skill-wise on the outside, very talented. They do a great job taking the top off uh, perimeter uh, with the screens, bubbles, and those kind of things. So uh, we got to do a great job up front with our front four uh, coming off the ball, standing out gaps, creating a new line of scrimmage, and make sure that we do a great job on the perimeter, setting the edges of the defense. Well, I mean, again, it's tough. You know, you try to have uh, multiple looks, multiple cards. Um, you know, you try to put some things into our offensive terminology so uh, they can go fast with the calls and whatnot. But, again, it's hard to try to simulate exactly how it's going to be. You just try to get as close as you can. Well, I, I think most important is just making sure that we all want to be loving and, and the communication on the field based off the call, the technique, uh, and make sure that we execute the call. Um, so in, in regards to that's probably what he was talking about from a standpoint of communication. I think, um, you know, in, in regards to myself for us calling the game, you know, I got to do a much better job for us putting these guys in position to be successful. So I put a lot back on me first. But on the field, we just got to communicate. We got to tackle. You know, number one, we got to make sure we're in position, we finish the play, you know, and we execute. Well, I, they try to spread you out more, you know, and uh, it's a spacing game for them. You know, when you look at them, which uh, I'm sure most of you guys study a lot of tape. So I'm sure you guys have, uh, saw them on tape. I mean, they, they get wide splits and really try to get you out in space and uh, try to run the ball inside, inside zone, outside zone. So uh, they do a great job of mixing things up and trying to keep you off balance. I think when you look at what they do within the system, it's pretty much all the same. Um, I think um, they both are unique from a standpoint. They can really beat you with their feet, you know, and um, they, they do a lot for Q reads and those kind of things for us pulling the ball. Uh, we got to do a great job, which, you know, I know you guys have seen for us keeping contained. And uh, that's what we lost a lot. Third down plays, being able to get off the field, not keeping contained on the QB. So we got to make sure we collapse the pocket uh, and don't allow this guy to get outside. We want to try to do a great job of getting him off the spot we got to make sure that we contain and keep them in the pocket. Uh, it's critical, uh, particularly when you keep talking about Tennessee this week. Um, we got to do a great job of trying to get these guys behind the chains. You know, and try to create some negative plays on first and second down to give ourselves a chance. If they're living in third and two, third and three, it's going to be a long day. We've got to try to keep them out of that. Uh, 
know, good athlete, you know, as we know, played quarterback. Uh, he can run, he can hit. Uh, he's still learning the defense, still learning how to play on that side of the ball. What you saw uh, Saturday was just his uh, athleticism. Great play by him. Great job looking around and trying to track and find the ball. Uh, you know, with him again, I wish he would could have came up with that second one. You know, to take points off the board right there and give us uh, another opportunity to be able to uh, do some things on the offensive side of the ball. So, I like where he is. Uh, he's still learning. He's still growing, and um, hopefully, he can come out and make some plays for us this week. Well, I, I think when you look at some of his skill set, uh, he's, he's good in cover uh, and coverage. Uh, I think he's a great blitzer. So, again, you try to take your guys and what they can do best and try to put them in those positions. So, uh, I just love his physicality in the run game, too. So, uh, he's an overall guy that can do multiple things. But, again, he's still trying to learn the position itself. Well, I, I think you can't be afraid to, you know, to call the game. You, know, you got you got to trust and rely on your guys to go out there and execute. And as you said before, we've had some success doing that. Uh, however, we do it, rather, you know, um, pressure with zone, pressure with man. You know, we got to hold up on the back end, regardless. And we got to do a great job of getting there. A lot of times on Saturday, uh, you know, we we're just a tad bit late, and uh, that can't happen because again, you know, the quarterback just needs that one second to get the ball off, which he did. Well, I, I think, number one, um, just yardage out the contact. You know, low center of gravity, I think he does a good job of, of really trying to get that garbage yardage, as you want to call it. You know, once he's hit, uh, he's still turning, still digging. Um, got a good jump set, you know, for his change of direction, but particularly within the tackle box, you see him do that. We got to do a great job of just really trying to rally. We talked about that today, you know, getting 11 guys. Uh, to the ball, making tackles, and doing a much better job than we did Saturday with our leverage and angles, and not giving up big plays. How do you balance the time of potential urgency of fixing things now and getting control? You know, the they have instead of the way you want to teach and the way you want to make sure guys get things right. Well, you, you just touched on two critical words in, in, in my vocabulary. Okay, all right. You, you got to teach. You got to reteach it. Okay, you got to reteach it, and then. Uh, number one, you can't panic. You know, you're talking how do you respond? Well, I'm gonna respond by not panicking. Uh, we're gonna reteach it. We're gonna continue to emphasize the fundamentals and details. Uh, get these guys in here, extra, extra walkthroughs, extra meetings, whatever we got to do, and that's what we've been doing. So, um, hopefully, we'll see the results this weekend.